Hi, this is Henrik de Almeida and I'm presenting solo number three on page 15 of my book Polyrhythmic Possibilities, available on Amazon.com. I'm going to present this solo to you today in three ways. First on the snare drum with a very simple ostinato, then I'll present with uh, Brazilian bayon, and then I'll present orchestrating all over the kit. Okay, so let's take a look at solo, snare drum solo number three on page 15 on the snare drum. I'll talk to you soon. As you heard, this drum set solo on page 15, solo number three, has a lot of upbeats. One, two, one, two, one. And it's interesting that a lot of players don't really uh, often choose eighth note as a note rate uh, to play polyrhythmic ideas. But by adding rests and accents, as you could hear, we can create a lot of polyrhythmic possibilities with eight notes. So a lot of students have challenging experiences playing Brazilian music and Afro-Cuban music because we do use a lot of upbeats, syncopation on those styles. So I'm going to choose a Brazilian bayon now to play the right cymbal, the bass drum, and my left foot on the hi-hat. And I will play snare drum solo number three in page 15 with my left hand. This is an awesome way for you to establish a time view and hear polyrhythmic ideas. Practicing this snare drum solo within the context of time and style will help you reading, your polyrhythmic abilities, your coordination, your time view. You're gonna benefit so many ways by doing things like this. Now, I choose the Brazilian Bayon, but you could do songo, mambo, you could do sambas, you could do jazz, rock, funk, you can do whatever you want. Establishing a time feel and then read the snare drum solo in one of the limbs. Okay, in this case, it's gonna be the left hand. So, I hope you enjoy this version with the Brazilian Bayon. It is a great coordination exercise as well. So enjoy solo number three now with the Brazilian Bayon and I'll talk to you soon.
If you have the book, I would highly suggest you take a look at the practice guidelines. And I talked about a lot of different concepts, how you can use the snare drum solos to create polyrhythmic possibilities. In this case, I'm going to play advanced foot ostinato. This ostinato, the bass drum, is not only one. It's one, two, ready, go. One, 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 one. While the left foot is going one, one, two, one, two. Something like that. So before I play snare drum solo number three all over the kit, I'll play this ostinato a few times for you to hear. Bass drum is not on the one. If you don't know what the one is during the, the solo and you follow on your book, the cowbell is on a downbeat. So downbeats are with the cowbell, okay? And also, I'm thinking about the notes that the drums are producing. So I'm really thinking not only polyrhythmic now, but I'm thinking melodic. There's a lot of little melodies going on. So I hope you dig this. And now is solo number three all over the kit. And I'll talk to you soon. I hope you like these three ways to play snare drum solos on my book. Uh, you know, try them out. And I'll leave you with a polyrhythmic solo that I did live. I was on tour with the Falconeers Jazz Big Band and playing a concert live. And I was approached by a, a mentor that was visiting Colorado from Boston, the great trombonist Phil Wilson. Phil Wilson was my mentor and one of my teachers, and I played with his big band and his small combo, and he played with all the great drummers, Louis Belson and Buddy Rich, he played with a lot of cats. And I remember he coming before the show and talking to me, and on the middle of the show, I did a drum solo, and I knew he was in the audience, and it was uh, really cool to have him, after many years without playing with him, for him to come and visit and watch the performance. So this solo, as I was playing, was totally in homage and honor of Phil Wilson, who was in the audience. This solo has a lot of melodic contents that I talked about, and there is a lot of polyrhythmic ideas on it. So if you have the patience and the endurance to listen, there is no video on this, but check this solo out. There is a lot of materials from this book, and also from my double bass book, I, I should say, on this solo. But check out how much polyrhythmic ideas you can actually use. This is a jazz big band gig and I had an opportunity to do an open solo and it's a, a great polyrhythmic example, uh, poly applications of polyrhythm example. I hope you like this solo as I played with all my heart and soul to the great Phil Wilson. So enjoy the Phil Wilson solo which I call world music solo because it's influenced by Louis Belson, Buddy Rich, Jenny Krupa is, in, is in inspired by Afro-Cuban music, Bata music, Brazilian music, and rock, funk, pop, and New Orleans. So there's a lot, a lot on that solo. So check it out. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.
Thank you.